Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, fellow travelers. This is episode 437. No, I'm kidding. So we're doing the regular playthrough. This is actually the second season. So we're in the Sentinel update 4.0, 4.1, 4.2, etc. And we are in episode 13. Now, as you probably are aware, we completed our scientist mission last time around. Let's take a look at the missions real quick. Um, we do have an agricultural research, but I've already told you that even, even though this is a pretty hefty... Uh, uh, episode in itself. It's a lot of jumping from planet to planet, system to system, finding plants, bringing them back, and just basically creating potted plants all over the place. There's nothing wrong with that. Those plants, when harvested, lead to other items that you can make and build along the way. So we're going to kind of leave it alone, and I might do an episode of it later on down the road. Uh, so we're going to hold off on that for now. Um, expanding the bases where we're going to pick up today. I do want to touch on the base computer archives re real quick because it is a good idea to hit that every now and it gives you um, uh, updates to your storyline. So you see it's pointing at something over here and if I go over there what it's pointing at is our base computer. Okay and if we go in there it'll give us an update. So I'll go ahead and go through it. Automated archive recovery in progress. Data recovered 6% new data available. You can search the archives and it gives you a new entry. You know, you notice the entries are always 4925 and it's followed by a letter. So this is X follows. Found additional buried technology modules. Construction proceeding smoothly. Recent expedition yielded something. Copying data to something. Additional data available. Construction logs recovered. Blueprints reassembled and prepared for download. So we can do search construction database. Base technology data extracted, downloading plans, storage container plans restored. So what happens is, is you get your storage container. Now we've already gotten that going through the missions, as you are already aware. And we actually got all of them by going through the missions. So you could have gotten it for free anyway, just by going through this. Readable archive retrieval complete, beginning defragmentation of next segment. Now what will happen is as time goes by, it'll start to become evident that you can come back to this. See, it says to construct a storage container. It wants you to do that even though we've already got one. So had we done it right away, we could have. Now, we can't build this because I shouldn't be able to build it. Oh, okay. I built it. I built cargo container one, but not zero. Go figure. So let's go ahead and build it. If I had built zero first, it would have been fine. You can only build one per base. And as you can see, as it's linked to the next one, the one next to it, it now has additional storage available. So, very nice. And this one I haven't even filled up yet. They gave us a lot more storage space in these things now. So they're very, very nice to have. You'll notice also that my storage, I mentioned on my last episode, my storage in my main inventory is starting to fill up. Even my multi-tool has gotten a little bit uh, problematic. I don't have any room for anything else in here. Um, so that's going to be a problem later on. And if I don't start expanding to, you know, the... Uh, exosuit and everything like that here we're going to have issues so I'm going to hold off on that for now I'll do it between episodes I've already shown you how that's done uh, that's usually the best way is keep purchasing them make a little bit of money on the side purchase more exosuit units and as you jump from system to system always acquire the two upgrades that you can get both from the space station and from the anomaly and then search out a planet and try to get as many of the exosuit upgrades as you can and go from there so you'll see that it says that it's been partially restored again. Let's just take another look at this. Record, recovered archive encrypted. Input recovery pass key to proceed. So what it's looking for is it's looking for a word that you've learned on the planet. And it's random. You can just keep giving you every single word you can. So I'm just going to say gra just to see what happens. See? Didn't take it. Death. I'm just going to keep going. So try a different one. Try going down to two. Try three. And you, un you unlocked it. And that's all. It's just, it's hit and miss. And it will do this every single time. It used to be on a timer, like a 30 minute, sometimes 15, 30 minute, hour, two hours. Sometimes it was a full day timer as you get towards the end. And you wouldn't be able to come back until literally the next day. So, you can do that. So we're just going to go ahead and go through this real quick. Uh, 4925 with a question mark follows. So we don't even know what entry this is. My exosuit has directed me to a crashed starship. Something controls react to my touch, and I can only assume it belongs to me. No memory of it, no sense of it before. That should give you a hint as to what's going on. Since the, the crash ship seemed to belong to them, it had their identifiers on it, but 
but they don't remember anything about it, which is interesting. Additional data available. Construction logs recovered. Blueprints reassembled for download. Let's get the construction blueprints. Exosuit technology data extracted. Downloading plans. Upgrade module synthesized from data scraps. Readable archive retrieval complete. Beginning defragmentation of next segment we leave. And it waits until we're, we've installed the scanner module before we can proceed. So to do that, we would have to remove something. So what you can do is you can remove something like this with the X button. Install this. Wait a moment, and you see it's already got the icon there. So now we can go back into our multi-tool, and we don't really need that. It's not really giving us much of a reward. We will get more rewards from something like this. So we'll get rid of that, which we get items from. Put this back in here. You'll notice that we got some chromatic metal, which we're going to put in our starship inventory. And we've got a wiring loom, which will also stick over there. Okay, good deal. We got some Fesium too. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it for now. Uh, you know what? No, let me put it in my inventory over here because you never know what you might need and you're not going to get a lot of money for it. So, okay. So at least that gives us a little bit more of something, something to go by, right? All right. So that's where we stand with this. Let's move on to the next one. Rather than going base computer archives, we're going to go ahead and expand the base a little bit more. So... Let's get started. We're going to return to the Overseer, but we have to acquire a circuit board. If you look in our inventory, you'll see we can create one now. We have the recipe, but we need a heat capacitor and polyfiber. So what do we do for that? Well, we also got those recipes. You'll see it requires frost crystals and selenium in order to make this. Very interesting, right? And where's the other? Polyfiber requires cactus flesh and star bulbs. It's a lot of materials. Um, so cactus flesh, star bulbs you can find on the planet, usually paradise planets. Like the one we're on, we'll find those pretty easily. Cactus flesh, obviously desert-like planets, right? Um, if you go back over here to heat capacitor, frost crystals, as the name implies, it's going to be from cold planets. And selenium, hot planets, soul, hot, get it? Okay, so that's where we're going to find everything. But we now we have to do jumping around to different planets to get this stuff. Let's go ahead and do it. So I can show you the rigmarole and unfortunately the agonizing pain. I mean, um, uh, the draw of doing it this way. Yeah, that's it. That's what I was going to say. Okay. All right, so we need star bolt. Star, uh, star bolts. Do we have a hazmat gauntlet? We do. Hazmat gauntlet's the only way to acquire these things, so make sure you have those. And you don't shoot these plants. You literally have to harvest them. That's why the reason you have a glove that allows you to harvest them. And as you can see, you're not getting a lot. There we go. Okay, we just harvested all this crop here, and we ended up with 100. Now, we kind of did need 100 of them, but I'm going to get more, because we're going to need a lot more to do all the other things, like the agricultural farming and stuff like that. Now, think about these star bulbs and any other plant that you're harvesting like these, is looking in a cardinal direction like north, and you should find another grouping of them. It may not be close by, but it should be close enough star bramble that way so not quite on the cardinal point but if i go this way to acquire them you'll yeah ran into a rock you'll find that there are more in that direction so if you have your mining beam active why not get some stuff while you're at it You're a ferrite. Always a good one to get. See? Pick up oxygen on the way. It's something that you learn to do. And after a while, you're going to have so many resources that it really isn't going to make a difference anymore. And you'll just be doing this, you know, haphazardly and on your own and not realize that you have so many materials, you don't really need them anymore. Now, if we discovered all the... Animals on this planet, I seem to recall that we did. Yes, we did. Okay, good. And there's our next star bramble. Exciting. Yeah, it happens to be right next to a cave. Funny part is there might even be some plants in the cave. Because they grew so close. So we want to check that out when we have a moment. Okay. 
That one was a little bit further down. All right. So let's just take a look. We've got subterranean relics. They aren't really worth that much. Just making sure there aren't some directly below me, because that does happen. Okay, good. All right, so look out in the distance. We go in the same direction. we got impulse beans. Let's look a little bit left or right and see if we find any more. We probably won't, because they might be too far out. Let's go straight east. There we go. Well, not really east, but close enough. Got more star brambles out that way. Oh, hush. Calm down. Whoa. Whole series of suns. Making attackers there. Whoa. That could have been deadly. Not deadly. It would have taken some health points off for sure, though. Would have dropped down there and knocked a, one of my plus signs off. Hey, buddy. And you know, the animals, I don't know if they really need to work on that. The animals all sound similar. No matter what planet you go to in No Man's Sky. So I don't know if that's something they did purposely. Lazily. <laughs> I mean, the excuse could be that since this is a generated place, that that may be the reason why all the animals sound the same. Maybe it lends to the storyline. At least that's the excuse I would use. All right, we're going to make this our last cropping that we're going to gather this from. So as you can see, there's a tedium to this. We could travel by ship to do this, but you're going to go through a lot of uh, fuel. Launch fuel. Nope, that's a rock. That is a plant. Whoa. I don't think there's any more up there. And as you can see, they're actually growing inside the cave a little bit. And last one. Okay. That should be good. Oh, there is one more. Son of a gun. Got it. <laughs> Alright, so how much did we end up with? 347. That'll do for now. I think we've got enough. So we're going to go ahead and head back. And... Where's my ship? That way. You'll hear me say that a lot. By the way, if you're not familiar with any of my episodes that I usually do, you're going to hear me say, Hey, where's my ship? Where did I park? Anybody know where we left the car? You wish you could hit a button and just have it go, whoop, whoop, you know, or something like that. There's a plant down there. They ate me. I don't know where they are. It's weird. Okay, well. Oh. There's one more. I don't know. I'll grab it. Okay. On our way. Hey, condensed carbon. Always a nice find. Now that we have our upgraded laser, we can get all of them. And there is an incredible lack of sentinels around this area. I'm going to go ahead and grab you too. I would grab the little modules around it, but eh. It's always nice to have extra resources around. Never know when you might need some more sodium. Or... Sodium nitrate. Okay. I thought I saw some... Whoa. Almost ate it. Okay. Good deal. So, that's how you get the star bramble. Oh. That hurt. I think I just busted my ankles there. That's okay. I'm just going to keep running. Alright, so what we're going to do next, we're going to find a couple of the other worlds, and I won't go through the tedium of running around like I did here. There we go. Okay. I want to let my jetpack recharge, because when I get to my next planet, it won't be recharged. Okay, there we go. So we need frost wart selenium, right? 
and cactus switch. So before we go anywhere, let's go into our directory. We have nothing there. We have Boiling Doom, which has selenium, as you can see on it. Uh, this one has frost crystals, so that's two of them. And we need cactus flesh, which I don't think we have an unknown planet over here. Uh, let's take a look at it. Let's get a little bit further out into space. Okay. And we're going to go first person and find, see if we can find this little planet. It might be the little guy right there. It might be a moon. See so if we get lined up, you gotta line up just right. Sub zero, okay. Selenium. Selenium. Hopper. Okay, it might be this guy then. Ah, there it is. What do we got? Nothing. It's a lifeless planet, which is a very handy planet to find, by the way. Um, but not what we're looking for. So we're gonna have to go to a different system to get cactus flesh. So while we're here, let's go. Where do we wanna go? We wanna go here. Boiling Doom, or High Sentinel Activity Boiling Planet. Um, I think I'd rather go here that's less Sentinel Activity. It's not that we're afraid of Sentinels, especially with the weapons we have right now, but why poke that bear? I don't think it's really necessary, so we're just going to keep going here. Sip of coffee while we keep going. It's actually early morning here while I'm recording this. to swallow loud, otherwise you'd be hearing me go gloop, 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 because I'm drinking my coffee. Okay, taking a look at this planet, it's a mostly water planet, so we got to choose an area that has land. I'm going to choose this corner over here, because it seems to have more land in that area. But we're not going to get what we're looking for. Because even though it looks like islands and stuff, they're actually closer together than we might make. There we go. Okay. So, we need to find selenium. Selenium is another plant, obviously. Is that a landing area? Son of a gun. You know what? Let me take it up. And then we'll take a look around. So, you know, take every, use the opportunities to check things out. Oh. Oh, it's one of these planets. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Forgot about that. Let's head in real quick. Okay. Oh. This is an abandoned station. Crazy cool. So we don't have a multi-tool here. We do have a trading terminal, so we can still trade. Fascinating. Not much in here, of course. Look at all those exosuit upgrade charts. Uh, how much does it cost to get all of them? 57 of them. I'm going to go ahead and grab them. I know this is crazy, and that's a lot of money, if you think about it, but this is going to give me what I need in order to get where I'm going. So, now I can find 57 upgrades. I mean, that's crazy. I know you're like, holy crap, I can't believe you just spent that. But trust me, it's definitely worth finding it when you can. Hey, chromatic metal. Let's go ahead and grab it while we're here. Uh, I don't think we need any unstable plasma. Do we? I don't know. Let me check. Eh, we could use a couple. That my ship, that my ship, that my ship. Because you're not going to use it any other way. Um... You can always use more resources, as you can see. We don't have a ton of them. So, finding more resources is definitely worth it. I'll grab the cobalt, too. Why not? Uh, these are kind of useless to me at the moment. Um, don't really need that, or the microprocessor. Perfinium is actually not a bad resource to find. You don't need a ton of it, but it's good to have. Same thing with silver. I already got chromatic metal, but you see it's already building again. Let me grab one more of these, just to have it. Okay, good. I'll put that down there. So paraffinium is kind of a handy resource to have. Alright, good. Wow, this is cool. So, the good thing about this place is that obviously you had eggs all over the place and I could gather them up and make the money back. Probably get at least six million. Um, why don't we do that? We're only 20 minutes into the episode. Why don't we go through this real quick? We just need our mining laser. How, how good is it right now? 34%. Uh, let's see. Okay. And our shield is mostly charged. Okay, let's do it. And we got the horrors. And we're just going to go through it. This is how you do this. Just run around. Try to stay out of their way. There we go. And they're going to they're gonna come at you. Don't worry. And they can go through structures, just so you know, ahead of time. 
and they're going to try to shoot at you and charge you. They spit. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Just keep moving. Serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. Okay. And sometimes you can't grab it. Whoa, hey, look out. Whoa, look out. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Well, these guys are nasty. Alright, here we go. Oh, I grabbed this one. Ow! <laughs> they don't hit too, too hard. Remember, we're in normal mode. They're not going to kill us. They could. I mean, if, you, if you're kind of stupid about it. Uh, somebody just shot me, I think. Oh, hi. Excuse me. Uh, I think we're done there. Is there one more there? Nope, there wasn't. Whew. What happened to me here? This is kind of a smaller one that I'm used to. got all of them. Let's take a look real quick. Don't see any eggs on the ground. No eggs. No eggs. No eggs. Okay, we got all the eggs. So, let's just get up on top of this and get out of their reach while they despawn. So, let's see what we ended up with. So, see, that's worth about 700,000. So, between the two of these, we got about a million, not quite. So, it's actually, it's not bad. I made some of my money back that I've just spent on all the upgrades. But, to me, it's worth it. And in a couple of moments, it'll say swarm subsiding. So even a mining beam can take these guys out, so you don't have to worry about them. But after a little bit, they will despawn, and then we'll jump down. Hey, how you doing, man? Did I discover all the planet? Wait, what are we, what are we missing here? Uh, flying underground, underground, and underwater. Okay. In a, just a couple of moments, they're still trying to spit at me. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, we need some phosphorus. We're running low on that. See, swarm subsiding, and they're going away now. Just wait for them all to be gone. They're all gone. Okay. Excellent. So you see, we recharged our shield and everything like that. It's not that big of a deal. I don't do the pull back there anymore. That's good. Yeah, don't really need any more feces, and we're okay there. Navigation data, nanites. Oh, that's what we got from there, too. Okay. All right. So, all in all, pretty decent stop here. It sounds like we've got a worm going overhead. More nanites. Excellent. Um, yep. He's literally going into the ground right there. That's hilarious. You can get in a wave of them. They don't damage you too, too much. But it's not bad. Okay. Oh, we have a... Where is it? There should be some data. Let's take a look. Everything's glowing, so it's kind of hard to see everything. There it is. And was that a red dot I saw? Oh, it's an egg up there, I think. That's probably what I saw. I thought I saw a creature for a moment. That was something I hadn't discovered yet. Because we do have one flying creature and one underground creature. Two underground? Two underground creatures. And there's a cave there, so it wouldn't have surprised me. Okay, well anyway, so our underground item, let's see if we can get it. We're going to go first person on this one again. Yep, we got it. Excellent. How many did we get? Just two? Yeah, it looks like just two this time. All right, so if you look in the distance there, let's zoom in. That, I believe, is selenium, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong. Might be sodium, especially with this glow that we've got going around here. So what we want to look for is look for the plants. Sweet root. Big surprise. More damaged machinery. We've got some uh, buried technology up there. Uh, what's that? Organic rocks. Eh, not really worth my time. More damaged machinery. I thought I would find something here. Pulpy roots. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. Alright, let's take a ride real quick someplace else. So these, by the way, these worms that you see here, let's show you here real quick. Uh, if you approach them on foot, they're even more dangerous. There we go. Right 
here is one. Is it straight below me? I love the hovering ability of this thing. It's right in front of me. It's right in front of me, I think. Right there. Yeah, there it is. Right there. See that? Watch what happens when we get close. See that thing down at the bottom that's spewing stuff? Watch what happens. And they get pretty big. Ooh, didn't know they could damage my ship. That's alright. Oh, damaged my own ship with the missiles. <laughs> Stupid. But it did take them out. And we get stuff out of them. Fleshy rope and things like that. It, it, they can turn into nanites. It's not really necessary, so don't worry about the shields. It's because I fired my missiles. Oh, there we go. There's selenium right below us. All right, so let's go ahead and park it. I don't want to hit these plants. Let me get myself adjusted here. Here we go. Okay, good. Uh, we're a little bit on a slope here. I don't think it'll let me land. There, this looks good. And our shield will recharge while we're moving away. Your body of water, so we can look for some underwater creatures while we're here. Um, where'd they go? There we go. So that's selenium. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just real quick. We're going to go ahead and get it. Solar vines is what they're called. But it gives us selenium. And actually we get pretty decent amounts from selenium when we harvest them. Can't get up here. Come on. There we go. And, oh, daylight, what do you know? Kind of a creepy planet, this this one, huh? All right. Is that all of it over here? Almost. Always look for stuff and opportunities to pick up things. And we could be checking all them out. That's all right. I'm going to hold off on that right now. There we go. Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Oh, got a couple more selenium I have missed. A few more. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, grouped right together. Wow, look at that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Might need more coffee here soon. All right. Looks like I got it all. And how much is that? 358, pretty good. Ah, there's one of the worms during the day. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, makes it for a unique planet. So down there, it looks like we have ourselves a clam, and we have some crystal sulfide. Learned something new today about clams, or the other day, I should say. You don't have to shoot them to get what's inside. You can just go first person and extract the living pearl without any damage. Isn't that interesting? I don't know why I never thought of it myself. I feel kind of stupid about it. Grab crystal sulfides as you can. You will need more of them, but watch out for them to blow up. You hear them rumbling like that. Get away. And if you're underwater running out of air, kelp sacks. Alright, looks like we have some sea creatures here, but it looks like I've discovered all of these bad boys. And there's none new down here. Let me just see here real quick. Sometimes new ones show up, but I'm not discovering anything new, so... Okay. So I think that is, they say, is that of this. Let's go first person real quick. Alright. We'll grab that too. Alright, so the pearls are very handy. You can get those. They come in very handy to do a great many things with. Um, I would hang on to them for now because you'll need them in further missions down the road. But you can sell them for a pretty penny. And if I'm not mistaken, the pearls... Is it the pearls that turn into something special? Let's see here. Yeah, we do not have a personal refiner yet, so let's put the portal one down real quick. If I'm not mistaken, the pearls will turn into something. Yeah, it turns into gold. So if you're kind of short on gold and you're on a watery planet, you can go ahead and grab some. Um, 
Other things, like selenium, don't do anything except turn into carbon, so be careful about that. So we don't need any more selenium, we're kind of done with that, so I'm going to hold off on that. Okay, so I think we're done again with this planet for now, and we're going to move on. I'm not going to bother getting anything else, because we got enough into one cropping. That does happen from time to time. Okay, and we're on our way. Okay, so what we need to do now... Crazy planet we got here. We need frost, right? And that was that smaller moon, I believe, over to our right. Right there. And they got salvageable scrap there, too, so we can probably make some money while we're at it. Make back some of the funds that we lost out on. So this is, I guess, one extra mission that we're doing here. It's taking a while to get this done, as you can see. So it's one extra mission that we're doing here, but we're learning a lot more about things that we can acquire for planets and things like that, so. Um, so, it seems like a pretty decent planet. It'll be cold here. We got dioxide if we want to recharge. I forgot to get phosphorus on the other planet. Yeah, we're off a little bit. No big deal. And it's a moon, so everything should be found in much closer quantities and much closer together. And I'm actually going to scan, because being a much smaller planet, we should be able to find some place we can land. There's some frost crystal down there. You can see it under that rock. It's floating. Yeah. No. It'd be great to find a landing platform. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm not really too, too worried about it. But I don't want to land under the rock, so I'm just going to land over to one side over here. Hey, buddy. How you doing? We haven't discovered you yet, have we? How many animals are here? Three of seven we found so far. That's good. And we don't see any sentinels still. Okay, there's more animals there. Most of the animals here are going to be, for the most part, above ground. I always like to have the condensed carbon because it's more efficient to use it. Oh, we're going to get a lot of frost work from here. Uh, yeah, got to hit the right buttons, Paul. Okay. All right, so that takes care of that grouping. Oh, wow. Now, frost crystals are used for a great many things, obviously for some of your missions and stuff like that creating circuit boards. They also are used to create glass, but the simplest way to make glass is from silicon. Silicon deposits, and basically that's just mining whatever's on the ground. You know, dirt. Getting it from the dirt, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. Okay, missed one over here. Okay. I think that... Oh, there's one more sitting in a rock. Well, you know what? Let's take the rock. You always use the pure ferrite. And there we go. How much did we end up with? Get rid of that. 590 out of that one cropping. So that was really, really good. Um, and we're running really low in inventory, as you can see as well. Alright, that should be good. Nope, don't want the fluids, thank you. And should get our nanites, there we go. And there should be some... Hmm. Ah, oh, there it is, berry technology right there. Um, looks like it's underneath a rock. So it may be a little harder to get to. Yeah, we're gonna have to dig for this one. Uh, let me see if I can get a hole. There we go. All right. How many do we get? One. And she has got the silicon there. Three. Three of them. Nice. So we get silicate powder from that. And the silicate powder can be turned into stuff to recharge our terrain manipulator as well as um, glass. So that's a good thing. Anyway, it looks like we got everything we needed here. And we don't need to go any further. So the next thing we need to do is find ourselves cactus flesh. 
which is from cactus plants. And from desert planets. The other one was a hot planet, that's right. I had that backwards. You caught that? My apologies. Now, again, nothing in this system will lend to it. So... Let's just go to a, another system. Now, here's a little trick. We need to find cactus flesh, like we said, right? Now, if you go into your discoveries, well, catalog, pardon me, catalog and guide, you go to materials and items, and then select plants. You need to find cactus flesh. You'll notice it says locate substance at the bottom of that, pin location. So we're going to pin the location, and it's telling me in the galaxy map, search. So we're going to go to the galaxy map, and it will lead us to a system that has it. There you go. Look at that. So I'm going to zoom in, and you can see it has the plant there. Not you, you. There, you. Yes. Oh, it's a dissonant system, so we can pick up extra materials while we're there. So all in all, a pretty decent episode in learning about how to find things and acquire more things and to take advantage of the surroundings that you have in order to Chunk. Okay. So, fungal mold there. That's not what we're looking for. Um, what about that planet there? Looks like there's a ship there, too. Huh? Gamma root. Uranium. Ah, that's a nice place to find some uranium. High sentinel activity, though. Looks like there's another planet behind this one. Maybe a moon. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, let's go over this way. Hmm. How about you? Cactus flesh. Rocky planet. I'm going to head more towards the water, if I can. Because rocky planets tend to have a little bit of trouble with mountainous ranges and stuff, and it's very hard to navigate. The closer you are to water, the better. It looks like my pulse drive is finally getting a little bite. Hey, why not? What do we got? Oh, it's an abandoned vessel. Ah look closer, you can see it is a solar ship. Let's go ahead and grab this. Resist them, it says. Reject their lies. Follow us to freedom. The ship is broadcasting the same message over and over, an endless loop. Its message has decayed over time, but there are still salvageable coordinates amid the noise. Accept the coordinates. I shut down my receiver and input the coordinates to my starship's navigation systems. One final check reveals no life signs, no further intelligent message from the abandoned vessel. Okay, so, and you can see it's a pirate vessel, and it is a nice looking solar ship, but we can't do anything with it, so we are not going to do Under a Rebel Star at this time, we'll do that in the next episode, because it's automatically selecting that for us, so we're going to continue doing our expanding the base. Alright, so let's get over to this system. We will do that in the next episode. Maybe we'll do Under a Rebel Star and get that out of the way. Haven't done it in a while. You can see it in my first season uh, of my regular Living playthrough. I've done it so many times at this point, it's ridiculous, but still. Oh, looks like we're stormy right now. Um, so I headed towards the rockier terrain. Let me see if this is mountainous or not. I get through the clouds. Ah, uh, it's not terrible. All right, so we're looking for cactus flesh, and it's going to be kind of hard to find amidst this murk that we're in right now. Like a dust storm, I suppose. So I think we're just going to have to land. I'll do one quick scan just to see if there's anything around. No, it's not around. Okay, let's go ahead and just land. And we want to check our... This engine. Let's go ahead and recharge this. I'm not going to use the tritium. We'll use a radiant shard. We're going to also check the anti-gravity well. We'll hold off on that. It should have enough of a charge if we need to follow it. Alright. Eptaloid. Oh, we, did we? Yeah, yeah, I know. We found the planet. Very good. Hmm. We need to recharge that. Do we have enough? We have enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure that we have this selected. And you'll see our target is going right there. So, Echinocactus is what we're looking for. We're going to go ahead and select it, and that's where we need to head to. So, now that we've done that, we can look at other animals and see what we got here. 
One of 12. Well, we can get quite a bit here, but I don't know if I'm going to get all of them this time around. Oh, you know what? The, the storms that are going on, they make your jetpack more efficient so they won't drop as quickly. So you can use them longer. Look at that, huh? Isn't that cool? Now, if you're in a speed run to do things, like on the uh, expeditions or something like that, you probably want to get used to calling in your ship and making sure it was fully charged when you pulled it in. So it's close by, in case you need it. Ah, well, they give me a pretty decent good amount from these plants. We may only have to do the one run here. Uh, this one over there. Okay, any more? Another one. Okay. Uh, ship's flying overhead, that's nice. How much did we end up with? 245. Need to open up some inventory space. That's actually pretty good. Let me just see something real quick and see what it costs to build one of those. Uh, heat. Heat. Heat capacitor requires 100 frost. Okay, and 200 selenium, which we have. Okay, and polyfiber. 100 cactus. So we should have enough right now to build both of these and get this going. But we're going to have to go back to our base in order to be able to get that done. Okay, good deal. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do some oxygen, and we're going to recharge this too while we're at it. Okay, so all in all, pretty good. I don't think we're going to discover all 12, but I'm going to discover some animals because it gives you some nanites anyway. Okay. You don't have to continue looking at them. Once you get them on your radar and you start scanning them, you can look away. See? So you don't have to stay focused on them. You can just keep looking around. Okay, I think we got everything in our local vicinity that has a red dot. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, that's a good start. We'll come back. Where's my ship? See, I did it again. There you are. Alright. Yep, I'm not installing the personal force field, my friend. So now, what we can do, we've been to the system before, and I've actually got a base up there, as you can see. What we can do, oh, what's the other one? Just out of curiosity. It's a moon. Moons are always nice. Infested paradise, lovely. Is it really a paradise, then? Let's head for the space station, and we'll just take the space station back. We got some things to sell. Anyway. That'll free up some inventory space, too, while we're at it. And then we'll create the circuit board. Finish this mission. And we will get back to Artemis, I promise. It'll be in a further episode. These uh, these things take time. Under Rebel Star will give us access to solar ships. Although I prefer these ships I'm on right now. The Sentinel ships are much greater in so many different ways. But solar ships are kind of cool and pretty. you got to appreciate the aesthetics of a solar ship. Oh. All right. Now hopefully the volume isn't too loud in the game. I just realized I'm looking at the volume and I think it cranked it up a little too high. So I apologize. Let me uh, do something about that right now. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay, so first things first. As always, let's get our upgrade. I've already got an upgrade here. I can't get any more upgrades. That sucks. Okay, that's alright. Not as worried about the economy here, so we're going to sell some stuff just right here. Uh, should be over here in the corner. Okay, we have larval cores, which are 2% less, but that's alright. We've got almost a million out of it. Um, we're going to hang on to these. I don't think there's really much else for us to sell, per se. Don't want to sell the salvageable scrap, even though it is worth quite a bit. I do need phosphorus. I got. I really got to look into that. Living pearls we'll hang on to for now. Obviously, all these items. So, what do we got? Magnetized ferrite. I'm going to hold off. Tritium, we're okay. Dioxide, we're okay. 
Microprocessors, yeah. That used to be what we had, what we needed it for. Because we needed it for microprocessors. You had to create microprocessors to get a circuit board. But you don't have to do that anymore for some reason. Alright. Nobody landing, huh? Alright, let's head for the portal. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, the X-Wing style uh, explorer. Those are always pretty cool. Used to have one on one of my other saves. I just don't like how tall they are because you know, the ship actually gets in the way. Uh, there we go. Neptune Colony. Okay. So now we're going to create the circuit board. And at some point, like I said, between episodes, I'm going to upgrade my exosuit and get a little more storage space. I know I keep saying that, but the problem is is that the expedition's going on right now as the recording of this, and I'm doing speedruns. So needless to say, I'm spending a lot of time doing that instead. Alright, how much uh how much space do we got? Uh, we got enough space. Let's go ahead and do it. So we need a circuit board which requires one of each. Heat capacitor, polyfiber. We can do the heat capacitor. We can do the polyfiber. And therefore we can do the circuit board, right? Yes, we can. Now before we hand it in, let's turn in some stuff. Uh, okay. That's not what I was trying to do. It's the X. Yes, of course. Uh, where's the selenium? There you are. Frost crystals. Yes. Uh, let's put the pearls in there and the crystal sulfide too while we're at it. That should free up most of our inventory here and make us feel a little better. Okay, good. Now we can go back in. And guess what? We have to choose our mission. Don't forget to do that. Uh, expanding the base. And wait for the icon to appear. Checked it off on the left there, as you can see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And there it is. Okay. Takes a couple moments. You just gotta wait. I trust our scientist was able to meet your needs, friend. They have the cir circuits we demand. As I approached the overseer, I was almost certain I heard them talking to themselves, spitting out words and phrases in a tongue I recognize but do not understand. But seconds later, there's no trace of the venom I thought I heard. I must be mistaken. Toilgek Ritoa asked me for the circuit boards. Give him the circuit. The Overseer is strange, but no more so than any other beings I have encountered. Indeed, they have been more helpful than most. I hand over the circuits and receive my reward. So, we got a Galactic Trade Terminal, which requires the magnetized ferret, which we already have, and three microprocessors. Ah, friend, you will be so happy with Toilg Equitoa. I have drawn up plans for some starship technology, but I cannot yet sync my design with your ship. I shall need a Gravitino Ball to perfect my device. The Overseer predicted I would be pleased, and once again, they are correct. They have been ceaseless in their efforts to improve my lot. A gravitino ball is required to finish their promised starship technology. The farmer may be able to help acquire one. Except, you will not regret it, friend. It is good we work so well together. Okay, so yes, getting a gravitino ball is easier if we do the agricultural run. The problem is, is that it takes a long time of other plants to get there. So we're going to hold off on that. We're actually going to get the gravitino ball from one of two other places. Either we can find a, an abandoned... Um, ancient ruin. Uh, these are the ancient ruins that have things just kind of sticking out of the ground randomly, um, which will have at least two gravitino balls that you can acquire. Or you can go to one of those um, uh, aggressive sentinel planets, and there'll be plenty of gravitino balls laying all over the surface in large quantities. So, of course, it then gets the attention of all the sentinels. So you have to escape them, get back to your ship, and take off before they attack. Or go through a five-level Sentinel battle. It's up to you. So anyway, so that is as they say that. So now that I've acquired uh, the, t the ability to build a trade terminal, I'll show you this. They can only be built on these kind of surfaces. So let me show you real quick. It should be under here, I think. Let me just see here. Yep, there it is. So it requires three microprocessors. To get a microprocessor, I believe we require, there it is, uh, carbon nanotubes and 40 chromatic metal. So 120 chromatic metal, 3 carbon nanotubes. And 1, 2, 3. And then we can now create a trade terminal, which goes on these walls very easily. Uh, I wonder if they finally changed it. 
Yeah, you can put it on a door for some stupid reason. But you can't put it anywhere else. I can put it outside? Oh, that's interesting. Well, then I will put it right there, because that looks like a good spot for it. All right. And now we have a trade terminal that we can go to and sell stuff. Or acquire stuff. It won't carry a whole lot, as you can see. But it does acquire items that you can get. Including, look at that, launch fuel if I want some. Hermetic seals. Microprocessors, which we just made. Silver, copper. Pretty good. Pretty good. And ammonia. Ammonia you might need because of certain shields. I uh, just wish it had phosphorus, but it doesn't. It's okay. So we're in good shape here. So I think we did a pretty good run on this one. I'm going to go ahead and call it here. And we're going to come back and we're going to do Under a Rebel Star next. Uh, that's going to be my next goal here. So we'll get that one done and we'll go through that whole playthrough. It may take about an hour, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. And we'll go through that. All right. And we will see you folks in the next episode. I really appreciate you all being here. Please hit that like and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.